Um, All right. How has yesterday been for you? It was here in the room. <laughs> a bit chaotic preparing for today. So our nice sound effects seem to have affected Whisper's transcription of our video via, well, I don't know how, which gave me a bit more work releasing the videos yesterday. But let's see. Yeah, the way I feel is so, uh, but is that there is some meme about it, but imagine you drive a car and you try to change the, the wheels while the car is driving and you do like repairs <laughs> or, uh, on the yeah. engine and the thing is still rolling and you hope that you don't break anything and it, uh, yeah. that's how I feel. So it's, it's really chaotic, but yeah. it's a lot of fun. And I think overall we make it look like it's under control. Mm -hmm. So the car is still driving? Yes. <laughs> Good. <laughs> yeah. So I guess we'll tell a bit more about this later, but the biggest difference is that today we've tried to add an RStudio track. So let's see how well it works. It's, well, a little bit... Um, It's a little bit off somehow. Oh, well, not off, but it might not be perfect. But it's probably enough to try. Um, By the way, that, did you see that we got some more questions yesterday? Yeah, so let's go over those. People might use might use of the document, and that's yeah. exactly the right thing. So we encourage you to also after the workshop, come back to the collaborative document, add your questions, and we will see either right now, like you can see here happening live, or in the evening even, to still answer your questions. So, uh, I'm answering the third one. Can someone else look at the first ones? Staging, that is maybe a question to Radovan. Are we still looking at that? No, but... And we so we have this optional episode staging. Yeah, that's linked but here. But it, it really makes sense in... On the command line, it makes also some sense in VS Code. So some editors, they know about it. It, but the... But the episode is not. If you do, if you work only on GitHub GitLab, you don't really need it. So that's why we will not go or everybody through it. But if you're interested, uh, please have a look. We have exercises there. We have two nice explanations there about what that is, and I, I can maybe just very briefly explain what what a staging area is and what it means when we say we stage changes, it means that you can prepare a commit even before committing. So you can stage things nicely. It's like a little staging tray, or you can think of it as a shopping cart where you put things into the shopping cart and out of the shopping cart, and then you change your mind again, you put it back into the shopping cart. And before you go into to pay for their groceries and that which would then correspond to the commit. But we will not all go through that. Thank you for the little explanation here. Yeah, the page is also linked here. So everyone who's interested in that can go there. And then we have also the question about uh, there's some background noise. Yeah, uh... yeah it's my office. Okay. Sorry. Um, so it's someone says that it's really helpful to go through the notes after the sessions and if they will be available indefinitely. And um, that is so that they will not be here on this document. Like you may have noticed that they vanished during the day already into an archive document. And in the end of the day, we have always someone going through the questions, making sure that everything is answered. And then we will link them from our workshop page, which are also linked here. 
So you can always go back to the workshop page and then go through every day and see the questions and answers that were on these different days. So yes, they are available. And then this last question was a little bit more, more details. And I think Richard is yeah. still answering here. Yeah. But I and... really like this question because it shows cases where like the workflow doesn't fit in this perfect standard Git kind of flow. Or if it did, it might be too much work to actually arrange it that way. And in the end, not really worth it. Um, yeah, so, yeah, so in this question, someone has, so we, so we'll usually say that the original files should be tracked with version control and then, um, and then the like generated files, like the compiled code or the generated document PDFs, things like that would not be tracked. So it's what we call ignored. And there's a git ignore file that helps git to ignore these. But here, this is a case where you have the original files and they get generated to something else and then slightly modified, but you'd also like to keep these other modifications available at the same time. And you could work really hard and construct some big thing to keep them in sync, but in practice, if it's not a huge project, it may not be worth it. So, um, yeah. So, you know, generating it, manually editing, and keeping it in sync manually might be okay. If you did use branches, I guess you could have the same repository checked out in two different branches in different places. And if the generation is the same, version control might even help you to update the generated files while preserving your manually generated things by merging the new changes in with the manually edited ones. But yeah, I mean, it's something to figure out basically. Okay, it's 10 o'clock here in Finland. Okay. So I think we it's time for the jingle. Yeah, okay. Should we just do a short one? And then do we go to Samantha's screen for another introduction? Yes, Okay. for a short one. Let's see if this works.